Hello, this is Trana Winter. Welcome back to yet another episode of Queer Comics. Who even knows how many videos we're up to at this point? This is so fun, and I love doing these videos every week, and I'm happy to be back here with you. Um, should we just get right down to business? Today we're talking about a very important topic. Um, we are talking about, basically, the fragmentation of the LGBT community, um, basically gay on gay hate, and sort of the wars that seem to be happening within our own community. Um, and it is sad to see each letter of the LGBT community um, sort of separated from one another. Um, I do feel like there is um, a certain amount of animosity um, amongst the community. I think there was a time when lesbians and gay men and bisexual people and transgender people and questioning people and whatever, um, there was a time where we were all united, um, fighting causes together, banding together, rallying for one another, um, and it seems that that has come to an end. Um, now, I feel personally I'm seeing more and more, um, again, of this kind of animosity um, within the community, and it's weird to see minorities fighting against other minorities. Um, and I think that, you know, it ties into this sort of age of the victim that we seem to be living in, this endless victim narrative, who's the bigger victim, who's more disenfranchised than who, and it's not a story that I relate to. Um, personally, I refuse to ever look at myself or regard myself as a minority, even though I am one. Um, I mean, what does being a minority even mean in this day and age? Um, I don't think that any of us are minorities, and when you look at yourself as a victim or as a minority, you sort of perpetuate um, people's mistreatment of you. Um, and I feel like this is a time for each of us to claim our own identity. That's sort of the beauty of the time that we're living in right now, is that we are free to create individual identities for ourselves, and we don't necessarily have to fit into boxes anymore. Um, we, you know, labels aren't so rigid anymore, um, especially when it comes to sexuality and gender, and I think that's a great thing. Um, but it would be great if we could support one another um, as we each pursue and strengthen our own identities. Um, you know, an example that I always come back to is the way a couple of years ago, um, the way the trans community attacked RuPaul um, for his use of the word tranny and she male, and I'm still shocked by that. Um, I feel like this sort of, again, victim paradigm or whatever you want to call it, just this, this state of being, um, that a lot of people seem to be in. It's a sort of headspace right now, and we sort of addressed this a few weeks ago when we were talking about trigger warnings and sort of oversensitivity, and, um, it's reached a point where queer people are attacking their own allies. Um, and not just straight allies, but allies within the community, like RuPaul. Um, what does that achieve? What does it achieve for us to be at war with one another when we're already at war with everyone else, just trying to stand our ground and make our way in this world and stand up for ourselves? What does it achieve? to fight one another? What does it achieve to say, I'm a bigger victim than you, I have it worse than you, you can't understand who I am, you'll never understand who I am, and I just feel like this is so ridiculous and this is such a waste of time, and I feel like, ironically, the most ironic thing of all of this is that these sort of victims slash social justice warriors, whatever you want to call them, um, are actually working for the oppressive powers that they claim to be fighting against because 
all that we are doing is fighting one another and distancing ourselves from one another and fracturing our own community and dividing ourselves even more from one another. And that just, that weakens our community, that weakens us as individuals, and it isolates us. And that's exactly what the oppressive powers want us to be doing. They want us to be at war with one another so we don't rally together, so we don't become united um, and fight the things that really matter, the things that are important. Um, so I am saddened to see the state that our community is in right now. I think that hopefully we can band together and rally for one another. Um, I don't really... Um, see myself as part of any particular community. I've never really been someone for group think. Um, I'm a sort of lone wolf. Um, but I support everyone in their pursuit of happiness and love and self-expression and identity. And I am all for people, um, stopping to play the victim. I'm for people rising above whatever circumstance they happen to be in. And of course, I'm not trying to oversimplify things and everyone's situation is different and difficult in its own way. Um, but I do believe in the power of the individual and I do believe in each of us supporting one another and encouraging one another. And that's what it comes down to. It's just love. It's just love, self-love and love for your fellow man, woman, whatever. Um, that's what I'm about. Um, I hope that's what you're about. I, um, I don't really know what more to say on this issue. Um, again, we need to come together. We need to love one another. It's so corny what I'm saying right now, and I know that. But, you know the biggest truths and the biggest universal truths um, are always the simplest truths. And they're not always easy, but they are simple. And I would like to see people in our community move away from their own victimization. And I want to see people within our community rising above, being becoming strong voices, um, helping out their, you know, their friends and the people around them. And there's so much talent and beauty and just, you know, our community is so phenomenal, honestly. I mean, we are the coolest people on the planet, let's be honest. Um, and there's no reason for us to be at war with one another. We're all queer. We all want the same things. Um, so let's just come together like we once were and love each other and support each other and fight for one another and... God, let's just fucking do this. I hope you're all having a great day. I wish you a fabulous week, and I'll see you very soon. Bye.